Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and good morning class. Hello, how are you today? I hope you are doing excellent and if you're not, I hope you get better. It's Miss Bella again and today we are going to continue with unit 9. A heart of gold. Let's get started. Grammar Correlative conjunctions. Correlative conjunctions. Okay, today we are going to look at two correlative conjunctions. The first one is either or and the second one is neither nor. Okay, if you still remember, we have learned this previously, but let's take a look at these one more time. All right where and uh, why do we use correlative conjunctions uh, these are used to link two words or phrases of equal value from two sentences to form one sentence okay seperti yang kita tahu conjunctions tujuan dia adalah untuk menghubungkan ayat frasa ataupun perkataan dan kita cuma boleh gunakan uh, conjunction ni Apabila uh, ayat yang kita nak guna tu equal value Maksudnya dia tak boleh um, bercakap tentang benda yang lain lah Daripada ayat yang pertama Ayat yang kedua dengan ayat yang pertama mestilah uh, serasi Okay of equal value uh, Barulah kita boleh uh, tukar dia Menggunakan conjunction menjadi satu ayat Okay Okay, kalau you tengok dekat atas ni Either or and neither nor Kedua-duanya kita kena gunakan sebagai satu set A set You must use a correctly Either must be used with or And neither must be used with no Tak boleh tertukar Either no uh, dengan neither or It's wrong Okay, you have to remember Either or, neither no That's the... Uh, pasangan Okay The set They come together Okay Let's take a look At the first Example You can go left You can go right Awak boleh pergi Kiri Awak boleh pergi kanan Kedua-dua ayat ini uh, Equal value Mempunyai Maksud Ataupun tujuan Yang sama Awak boleh pergi kanan Awak boleh pergi kiri Sama Okay Awak boleh gunakan either or untuk ayat ini. Kenapa? Either or kegunaan dia untuk uh, when you are talking about choices. Okay. Mengenai pilihan. Okay. So you can use this when you are talking about choices. Pilihan. Okay. Sebab itulah boleh uh, dalam ayat ini pilihan dia adalah left or right. So awak boleh pergi sama ada ke kiri ataupun ke kanan. So either or ni, either ni if we, if you want to find a Malay a meaning to it, yang paling hampir adalah sama ada. Okay, when you are giving um, choices ataupun selections to people. Alright, I give you one more example. Uh, you can eat burger, sorry, you can eat either burger or sandwich. You can eat either uh, burger or sandwich. Okay. Kalau you tak gunakan um, either dengan or ni, ayat itu masih lagi betul. You can go left or right. Masih lagi betul. But if you want to use either, you must use with the correct um, pasangan dia. Pasangan yang betul adalah or. Alright. A second example, they are not my schoolmates. They are not my friends. Okay, if you can see the the similarity between the first and the second sentence is the word not. Ayat pertama dengan ayat yang kedua, dua-duanya ada perkataan not. So, if you use not in a sentence, that means your sentence is negative. Okay, so... Uh, you can clearly see that Kegunaan neither nor ini adalah Untuk bercakap tentang ayat Ataupun uh, sesuatu yang negatif 
you want to deny something awak nak menafikan sesuatu ataupun awak nak menyatakan awak tidak sukakan sesuatu you can use neither nor maksudnya kan masih lagi dua dua uh, ayat maksudnya you nak sebut tentang dua perkara my full mate dengan my friend but kali ini awak nak um, menyatakan sesuatu yang negatif mengenai dua-dua ni okey um, mereka bukanlah rakan sekolah saya mereka uh, bukan kawan saya maksudnya awak nak cakap kawan sekolah pun bukan kawan kawan yang friends yang bukan dari sekolah tu pun bukan maksudnya dua-dua bukan A pun bukan B pun bukan uh, so you can use neither no okay they are neither my schoolmates nor friends schoolmates pun bukan kawan pun bukan okay schoolmates and friends ni berbeza eh schoolmates adalah rakan sekolah uh, when you are talking about schoolmates tak semestinya awak berkawan dengan uh, rakan sekolah tu you can be in the same school but you may not be friends but friends means that you Uh, have a relationship lah Ada perhubungan uh, persahabatan Kalau schoolmates ni mungkin uh, Awak cuma satu sekolah je Tak semestinya awak berkawan Okay sebab itulah diletak Sebagai dua benda yang berbeza Mereka bukanlah kawan sekolah saya Mereka juga bukan kawan saya Dua-dua pun bukan Okay so neither know When you're talking about something that That is not Tidak, tidak, tidak Okay You are denying something Okay Yang ni pun bukan Yang ni pun bukan So you use neither No Alright uh, The third uh, example I did not go to the birthday party I did not go to the wedding Alright So when you see the word not Okay You must uh, it, it must come straight to your mind That Uh, this sentence uh, is supposed to talk about something that is not Something that is uh, wrong Or it is something that you want to deny Okay, nak menafikan uh, Saya tidak pergi ke uh, majlis hari lahir itu Saya tidak pergi ke majlis perkahwinan Okay, birthday party pun tak pergi uh, Majlis perkahwinan pun tak pergi Okay, so nak cakap dua-dua ni tidak Birthday party, tidak Wedding pun tidak So, you use neither no uh, Neither and juga pasangan dia no I went neither to the party No The wedding Yang pertama party, wedding Dua-dua ni tidak pergi Okay, so you use Subject I Verb dia when And then perkataan neither ni Selepas itu barulah You nyatakan apa yang you nak You nak nafikan Okay Contoh eh I give you another example uh, For example There are two boys That like me Contohnya ada dua lelaki yang sukakan I <laughs> So uh, I nak cakap uh, dudu I tak suka Uh, lelaki A saya tak suka Lelaki B pun saya tak suka So I give uh, A nama dia Ali B nama dia Ahmad So uh, if I want to combine uh, I tak suka Ahmad I tak suka Ali I want to combine in a sentence I use this sentence I and then you put the verb Okay verb awak positif so, Tak ada perkataan not kan Okay, yang negatif dia datang dalam uh, correlative uh, conjunction ni, the no ni. Okay, so I letak verb like. I like, uh, masa ni you akan nampak ayat ni positif. Oh, saya suka. Okay, but when you add the word neither. Okay, it indicates that you uh, tidak suka. Okay, kalau tak letak neither, I like maksudnya saya suka. Tapi bila awak letak neither uh, You are trying to say something that is not true That is something that you don't like Okay I like neither Okay apa yang I nak uh, ceritakan tadi Ali and 
Ahmad. Ali? No. Ahmad. Okay. Ah, dua-dua saya tak suka. Okay. Saya tak suka Ali. Saya pun tak suka Ahmad. Walaupun you tak nampak perkataan don't. But with the uh, correlative conjunction neither no, it brings the meaning of uh, not. Okay. Gunakan uh, verb yang positif. Tak ada perkataan no, tapi letakkan neither no. Lepas tu, antara neither no tu, you kena letaklah apa yang you nak ceritakan tu. In this case, I put Ali and Ahmad. Alright. Let's uh, take a look at this um, exercise. You have to do this in your book. I'm going to show you one example, satu contoh. Then number two, sum by number six, you do it yourself. Alright. Okay, join the sentences using either or or neither nor. Remember, either or when you talk about choices and neither nor when you want to deny things. Okay, you want to talk about something you don't like. And dua-dua pilihan tu, you tidak suka ataupun uh, tidak benar. Okay. You can you can have tea, you can have coffee. Okay. If you see these sentences, dua ayat ini, there are no uh, word uh, not. Perkataan not tidak ada. Maksudnya, dua-dua ayat ini adalah um, pilihan. Memberikan pilihan. Awak boleh minum teh, awak boleh minum kopi. So, kalau dia bukan ayat yang negatif, tak ada perkataan not, we use either or. Okay. Either or. For number one. So, how do you connect this? Macam mana nak satukan mereka? You must start with subject. The subject is you. And then uh, you have to put the verb. The verb here is can have. Okay. You can have either Okay, and then you put the things that you talk about. Apakah uh, objek yang sedang you bicang, bicarakan? Uh, tea and coffee. So, you can have either tea or coffee. Okay, uh, that's how you do that. If you see the word not, you use neither, no. Okay, and then you find the similar subject. Apakah subjek yang digunakan dalam kedua-dua ayat? Okay, number two, subjek dia Najmi. Number three, she. Number four, he. Number five, my mother, my sister. Okay, this, you have two different subjects. How do you combine this? Okay. Untuk yang ini, kalau you ada uh, dua subjek yang berbeza. Okay, how do you do this? You have to use... Uh, the correlative conjunction in front Awak gunakan di hadapan Okay, kalau berbeza Okay, so macam mana nak gunakan di hadapan Okay, tengok dulu Was not, ada perkataan not Means that you have to use neither nor Kena gunakan neither nor Macam mana nak gabungkan ayat ini Letak dulu perkataan neither Neither My mother No My sister Was At home Okay Walaupun you bercakap tentang dua orang Mother dengan sister But Perkataan neither no ni Bermaksud um, Tidak uh, bermaksud salah satu kan uh, Maksudnya Uh, mak saya pun tak ada Kakak saya pun tak ada So Awak tak boleh guna Verb yang Plural Kena guna Was Okay Sebab dua-dua ni tak ada Tak ada di rumah Kalau dua-dua ada di rumah My mother and my sister Were at home Okay that is correct But in this case You use the Verb Was Alright Okay class, thank you for watching and 
See you next time. Bye-bye.